if you've checked the balance in your bank account and it's a lot lower than what you think it should be, this may be the problem. And this is something that I see a lot with clients that are business to business. And this could be people that provide landscaping to other businesses, um, medical practices that are billing to um, insurers, etc. And that is that they're not collecting the money that's owed to them. And so in order to make sure that you're collecting all the cash that you're due, you need to have policies and procedures that help you manage receivables to make sure that your customers are actually paying their bill and that you're actually invoicing them. I had a client call me today. Um, her revenue was down for June and we talked about it in the CFO meeting and I pointed out some places where um, things didn't look like I expected. And the root cause of this is that she had a new hire who was doing the invoicing and we don't think that she did it the same way that it had been done in the past. And so today I discussed with her briefly what's going on. Um, I identified the gaps and I provided her with a brand new policy uh, that will help her make sure that all of the tickets that come through for the month are actually getting invoiced at the end of the month and that uh, we have a way to validate if that's happening. And she has a very manual process and we'll look to optimize that in the future, but sometimes we gotta work with what we got. And so when you're working with a financial expert, especially if they're calling themselves a CFO, they need to be able to have the skill set to be able to look at what you're doing in your business and tell you how to tweak that operationally um, to ensure that your finances stay accurate and that you're actually collecting money, that you're not overpaying your vendors and things of that nature. There is a lot of noise in my industry. I'm a certified public accountant. Um, I don't know if I'm in love with the term fractional CFO. I think it's been a little bit bastardized by um, glorified bookkeepers. But at the end of the day, somebody who oversees your finances, who's able to discuss with your legal team how decisions are going to impact you financially, who's able to help you manage your cash flow uh, to make sure that you feel really supported by your business and that you're building processes that minimize the risk of errors, overpayments, underpayments, etc. But if you're a seven-figure CEO and you do not have policies and procedures around your core financial areas, you do need an actual CFO or advanced money expert in your business. And I would love to connect with you and you can find that information out at the top of the page.